Hey guys, it's the Carnivore Girl, and today I'm going to show you my indoor light setup, my little propagation light. So real quickly, um, I just want to say that you don't need a setup exactly like this. This is actually really unconventional for growing carnivorous plants. Um, this light just kind of came came into my life, and I just tried to make do with what I had. Um, it's not necessarily ideal, it's just kind of what I ended up with, so I worked with it. Uh, the light itself was a Christmas present, this whole reflector lamp thing here. Uh, it was a Christmas present and it was used uh, beforehand, so I got it secondhand. Um, I'm sure it was used to grow tomatoes before, um, and not little plants. And this is pretty much as far as my indoor growing goes. Um, I just really use indoor lights to propagate um, seeds and cuttings and gemme and things like that. So um, I don't have a fancy like a highland grow chamber or a lowland chamber for anything like that. Um, what I grow is mostly outdoors. So this is really just for propagation and little things. So if that's what you are looking to grow inside, this video might be helpful to you. But again, um, you might not necessarily want a light exactly like this one. Um, they are pretty, pretty heavy duty and expensive as far as lights go. Um, so if you want something like this, I suggest probably looking for something secondhand, look on Craigslist or something. Um, otherwise you would do perfectly fine with fluorescent lights, T5s, that's what a lot of people use and lots of people love those. So, just kind of walking around it here. So this stuff, uh, this is just a tub, just a little storage tub that I uh, glued some mylar to, just so to make it shiny and reflective, um, to reflect the light back onto the plants there. Uh, this light actually is, we can go around here, Hydro Farm something or other. I don't know the exact model of this light, but um, we can, I can find out and I can put a link for down there for you if you're interested. Um, Luminaire series, whatever that means. And I'll show you the actual bulb that's in it. Um, so this is the bulb I currently have uh, in the light, in the lamp in there. Um, metal halide, whatever that means, 400 watt. Um, 400 watts is a lot if you're just growing a little, some little things here. So I only have this uh, lamp going for about 12 hours. I really don't think it needs any more. Uh, let's see if we can read this here. So 400 watts, 36,000 lumens. Color temperature is 42K. That's about what I was, 4200K. That's about what I was aiming for. I'm pretty close to daylight balanced. Um, I found that bottom part funny. Extra, non-insect luring, god damn it. Well, I'm pretty sure that's a lie anyway because I've seen little bugs flitting around here. So because this is a 400 watt lamp that's very bright, very um, heat creating, <laughs> um, I got this fan here to plug into it. It's a six inch fl uh, fan that just fits into the flange here and I just duct taped it together a little ghetto -ly. Um And it's just to pull some of the hot air created by the the light out and this is just some some tubing, just some dryer ducting to uh, help pull that hot air out. So the light itself plugs into a ballast. So this is the ballast. This is the actual power source for the lamp and I don't know if you can see on the side here it has a little dial and you can set it to um, how much power you want to put out uh, according to the wattage of the lamp so it says 360 watts 400 600 and super lumens which I have no idea what that means um, I'm not huge on lighting and crap in general but I just set it at 400 because that's what the light bulb is. So, and then these, both the, let's see here, 
So the ballast, so the light plugs into the ballast, the ballast plugs into this power strip, and the other plug there is for the fan. So the fan turns on when the light turns on. And then that power strip plugs into this timer, and the timer is plugged into this kind of dirty power strip that also works pretty well. And that is my little light setup in a nutshell. It's mounted to the ceiling. Pretty like, kinky dungeony, but it works. One last thing I wanted to say about this bulb is that it is one of the more affordable bulbs that I found out there. I paid probably, I want to say about 13 bucks for that. Um, a lot of grow bulbs that are still, you know, around the 400 watt range um, were going for 50 to 80 dollars. If you looked on like Hydro Farm and all the the uh, hydroponic websites and stuff, so do your research. Look for you know what's more affordable, more reasonable to you, and we'll see how how long did I get this set up. I just set this up maybe. Uh, probably about a week or so ago, so we'll see how long this actually lasts. But I'm pretty happy with it. It's pretty bright. The little plants under here seem happy. And yeah, do your research. This is what I'm working with right now. And hopefully this was helpful to you. May have given you some ideas. Uh, I'll leave links below to all this stuff down here if you're interested. And thanks for watching. See you later.